This time Amazon has really burnt themselves and it's gonna cost you close to 33% more on your current Prime membership. Now, Amazon's made a lot of moves that I've applauded. For instance, their new device lineup is spectacular and there's a lot of great improvements. They've continued to add updates and even more free content for everybody to enjoy. And they've even improved other portions of the Prime membership to bring you even more benefits from using it. However, this latest atrocity that I'll call the new Prime video fee is going to completely ruin the platform to some degree. Now, I'm gonna deep bunk some of Amazon's claims in this video on why they have to do it because the only reason they have to do it is they want more money. That, that, that's really it. Now, if you use Prime Video, I really suggest sticking around for this full video because by the end of it, you might decide it's just not worth it anymore. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And like always, for the first hour to two hours of this video, I try to answer all of your questions and comments down below. So whether it's personal or it's something about your device, go ahead and drop it and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, let's get into it. So first of all, before we get into the video, can we get a big shout out for my camera that I finally set up? So you, it's like HD-ish. It, it looks good, right? It's crisp. Let's get some comments down below because I'm, I'm pretty stoked for the, the front facing quality now. Okay, so we're going to get into it. So the thing Amazon is adding extra fees to is their Amazon Prime video. Now, this is also going to affect current Prime members. And I'm going to show you how. And then I'm also going to break down why their reasoning is complete BS, obviously. Okay, so let's get into it. So the current Amazon Prime video membership is around $8.99 a month. Now this is the dot, this is the US pricing. This is obviously gonna change for Canada, uh, UK, uh, wherever you guys are from, it's good, the price is gonna change, but th this is a very big baseline. Now, apart from that, you can also get the Prime membership. Now this price is in Canada just cause it's where it took me, but again, this is just a baseline to show you guys. So in Canada, we pay around I think it's actually higher than this now. No, I was I was correct on the pricing. It is $99 a month. I have mine listed right here so you guys can take a look. Now, the great part obviously about Amazon Prime memberships is you get more than just uh, you know, free delivery on a ton of items, right? You get Prime Video, music, all this stuff, you know, here they even have some sort of free dash pass with it. Um, so tons of benefits, right? There's uh Kindle, there's Audible, there's their uh music app. So Amazon has really packaged a lot for $100 Canadian, and I think it's, what, $130 US? So a great deal. But one of the major benefits that a lot of people get it for is Prime Video, because they're like, well, if I can already get those other benefits with the free shipping, Prime Video is just an extra addition. You know, at the regular price, if you were to buy it, that's going to cost you as much as any other streaming service and only a little bit less than if you get the Amazon Prime membership. However... They're doing something that I have never liked. Netflix has started this, we know this. They added an ad tier and then an ad free tier with ad tier being the cheapest one now for people to purchase. Uh, and apart from that, they have to move up their, to their premium plans. However, this is the part that really gets me. So Amazon is now going to default add you to ads. So no matter what, whether you're on your Prime membership or if you are just purchasing Prime, you are going to have to watch ads with your content. Now, we don't know the amount yet. My guess would be the concentration would be very close to Netflix. Now, the fee to remove it is right here. Look at this. $2.99 a month. So uh, listen, I'm no mathematician here. I'm not a genius, but I can work out and I can also read right here because it's in the article. That equals an extra $36 a year. So now for that Prime membership to have the same value that yours did before, which mine did, this $99 now goes up an extra goes up an extra $36 total. That's over 33% of my Canadian Prime membership just to get rid of the ad that they are now adding on. Now I want to look at their claim here. What do they say? Why is the reason for doing this? Well, they said Amazon said in a statement adding that the fee is necessary so they can continue investing in compelling content and keep increasing the investment over a long period of time. Now, this is why it's a farce. I'm gonna break it down here. For one, investing in content, even though they might initially lose money that year, that's both a tax deduction. And on top of that, Amazon also gets that content forever. They own the licensing rights. So they're not having to buy anybody else's content. Instead, they're able to continue to make money off Power of the Rings, off Wheel of Time, off, they actually have a lot of really good originals, Jack Ryan, 
forever after that initial fee is paid. Now, if we look at the statistics, yes, Amazon did have a losing year last year. Um, according to the books, they lost 2.7 billion. But I don't want you to be mistaken. A lot of this money is lost through research and development. It's lost through developing new areas, right? They sometimes, I know it sounds really far-fetched, they want to almost lose money. Like every business, they want to look like they're losing money. And that's exactly what your Prime video was. It is essentially a loss leader, a lot like Costco has the Costco hot dog. This is a way of them saying, hey, you should get your Prime membership because it's almost as much as Prime video. And on top of that, you now also get a shop through us. So it's an extra customer they're bringing in. But with this change, I really do believe Prime and Amazon in general is just making a terrible move. People don't default want to watch ads. Now, I understand if maybe you had different tiers for people that don't want to purchase the Prime membership. However, now you're taking customers that maybe would have purchased the Prime membership with the, the free video ads. Now they might just get the Amazon Prime video and pay the three bucks anyways, because they might not do a lot of shopping to start with. So they really are alienating more customers in my mind and giving them a weaker position in the streaming market. At least Netflix, you're just buying a service. Amazon, you're getting everything. So I expect you to at least keep things the way they were. So I want you to let me know down below in the comments, what do you think of this change? Are you going to keep your Prime membership or is this just a reason to cancel? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.